No, 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 this is my point I raised uh, yeah, but before, really is Ferguson, ever since Ferguson... But Man United has that. They again, and I'm going to relate this to politics when as well. When Man United lose a good manager, they go through loads. I'm going to relate that when they lose a good manager. When's the last time they lost a manager? They don't Ferguson? just lost it. Exactly, yeah. and he was there for like 20 years. Exactly, and what so, happened before that? They, had they went through loads. That's a point, yeah, that's yeah. a point, that's a good they point. They told they had Yeah, that happens. That's, that's how Man United operates. Yeah, and you're not going to get... But I'm going to bring this to politics. I'm going to kind of introduce politics slightly, is in terms of, look, the status quo. Like, Ferguson was the status quo. He was, like, the pinnacle. He was the conventional wisdom yeah. in terms of football. He and, was a bit ahead of the league. Do you know what I'm saying? Now that he's gone, the, 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 the doors are wide open for, you know, people to, to come out of centre who you wouldn't expect. Obama, for, you know, just to make the analogy, analogy in politics. No, 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 as in the status quo... The status quo, the Bush, the second Bush, the status quo, disaster. People wanted such a radical change, they were willing to, to elect a black man. Even though black people get fucking shot by the police and stuff in America, they were still willing to elect a black man as, as president. That's how much radical change they wanted to choose, right? That's what's happening in football now. You've, the status quo stepped aside. And so you've got Leicester coming out of left field. Yeah, coming we're not out of going for Leicester. They're just, yeah? they're doing you've got City, they're doing. who on paper are the next best status quo. Forget any of that because that's all well and good. See, Obama yes. made it possible. Change we can believe in. <coughs> but you reckon well, that's why other people so support you, him. Are you saying Obama might be the next one? Yeah, like, where running? would he be in the league if Obama? <laughs> <laughs> He'd be awesome, man. What position? Like, what? Where do you? I love <laughs> I think there's Corbyn could get like Leicester. Right, bring it back to the football, bring it back to the Premier League again. The status quo was stepped aside, so it's left the doors open for teams to be more competitive. Ferguson, one thing that he done was he was very old school in his tactics, but he was also like adapting, it, yeah, adapting to, to the adapting. new world. And he's a good manager, yeah. he's very good with people, isn't he? Mm. It's like Arsene Wenger, I mean, he's been like messed up by the stadium, so he's lost a lot of money, but he could probably be winning the league. But with Alex Ferguson, what he done was he's very old school, so all the players were scared of him. All the people higher up in Manchester were scared of him, so they gave him what he needed. And, and the, team, the teams were built as well. Yeah, yeah. he built teams yeah, yeah. and he won them. Who was it? Alan Hansen said, you can't win anything with kids. He won the league that season. Mm -hmm. So he done it because everyone respected him. All the managers now, nobody respects them. You've got someone like Mourinho who comes in, and yeah, no. But I don't know if it's the manager's it. fault. It's the way the game is evolving. Yeah, it's with evolving the foreign ownership. Into only, well, not just the ownership, though. It's, yeah. it's the money. Yeah. It's losing sight of football and concentrating too much on money. So sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Work. I also say, who do you think of Pochettino? The, the, the manager. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Don't you think he's a. He's, he's got Mourinho in him. No, he's got I, elements. I think, I think more Ferguson. Oh, okay, okay, that's like, interesting. Like, I think slightly a bit like the way he tries, like the way he's. He's like Mourinho's more like um, he he manages by um, like pissing his players off. Yeah, no, but it's arrogance with him. Yeah, he's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you're the best, you're the best. But yeah. if you're not, then he's gonna act cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like Ferguson's hard, but it's more like that's a good family thing. kind of angle. You know, he's more like that's keep it all like. Yeah, we're, we're Man United, and, and you know that kind of angle. Yeah. I, I, Ferguson I, I, is like, I, I your, it's like, like your, your, your old wise dad or granddad. Yeah. And Mourinho was like the cool uncle who everyone yeah. was excited about. Yeah, yeah. But if you spent too much time with him, he's yeah, not actually yeah. as cool as you no, thought exactly. he was. Exactly. When yeah, he gets yeah. drunk and then he yeah. 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 Exactly. You know, yeah. catch him on the night doing all these kind of drugs, and you think, whoa, you know what? But you know what? It's true what you're saying, Benj, about it's not the manager's. So much because it's the whole money. None of them are getting a chance to build. Exactly, you don't even get given the chance. You, you come in you know. at the beginning of the season, you need to win the league, exactly. and you're going to win the league because you've given all this money. The, the, the increase in money has taught is an increase in pressure. Yeah, yeah. Time and so no one's got time to develop anything, which is what Ferguson did. Yeah. That's yeah. why. How, this, yeah. how, yeah. how many seasons season did he football? go without winning yeah. the league? Yeah. 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 Ferguson, at least four yeah. or five in the early days. Yeah, quite a long time. He was close to getting relegated, but they gave him the chance because they believed in him. Yeah, not just that, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It was unheard of to fight, sack someone after one season or half a yeah, season. Yeah. Or because it's coming. You from know, the days, it was unheard of. But because of the money thing, Bill Shankly and so guys, you know, the, the, for years. the game is evolving into. So that's what. Because I was going to say, City on paper have the best team, but why is that? 
It's not because the, the players oh. are actually that great. It's because they're the most expensive. That's the only reason why everyone is, is, assumes City should be running away with the title. They should be running away. No, Look how much money they, they spend. They Look how much money they spend. Because that's the, always the reason that's given. Look how much money they spend. Yeah, they should be. No, but, no, but, but my point is, no, that doesn't automatically mean anything. Far. I could come and sell you some, some busted down pair of shoes just be, and tell you no. they're worth a million pounds. No. You've got a billion pounds. You think, yeah, I'll just give you a million pounds. Just because yeah. it's worth a lot of money doesn't mean it's the best. Yeah, oh, definitely. But Do you get what I'm saying? They've got people like Silver Torre, they've got all the company, you've got Hart. All these kind of players, they have got world class yeah, players. They should win the league on memory alone, just just by just. Oh, really? But they've never, they've never out well, and out. Imagine that. But they've never. Out. It was always time. a struggle for them to win it. No, like, it was always Yaya down Yaya to the Torre. last wire, yeah, yeah, down to the last kick. But look at oh. Yaya Torre. When he switches on, yeah. he can win a game yeah. single handedly. But he doesn't. Always when win exactly? He's too busy thinking about his birthday. Thinking, oh yeah, damn it! I'm just thinking about what? When you say thinking about his what? His birthday. It's like they didn't give you a birthday gift or something. That's fine when that happens. Is that what you're thinking about? When your team's finally yeah. in the league. That's so. That's why this this season's so good because them teams here. Yeah, it's like no one's got it together. Like you yeah. know, like no one's got an them team. No it's a reminder good. that oh hold on, it is possible to yeah. win these things by yes. losing teams. Yeah, and yeah. And do just you play think with heart? Do you think this is a free job, season? Or are you gonna get more like this? Nah, free. Next season, I think <sighs> it's gonna. Be uh, you know, it's tough. It's tough to call. Man. We'll see because with Guardiola coming in, it will be tough. And maybe, I mean, again, I don't want to assume it's a foregone conclusion. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, Guardiola's coming, he's got the team with the most money, so he'll be, you know. Not necessarily, but even if, let's say, he does come in and, and he, he lives up to expectations and City take the top spot, there's still, you know, spot two, three, or four that all these other teams are going to be competing for. Chelsea are going to look to make amends. Yeah. Liverpool have club who's now had, had a bit more time, yeah, you know, etc, etc. Et God knows if United what the hell's going to happen I think that's that. a, key, a key thing that, because this whole league is built around the same four teams, <coughs> maybe five, yeah. getting into that Champions League each year, so getting richer and richer. Now that is very likely to change for this season. Yeah. Yeah. And that whole model is affected by that, you know, that's, the teams that get into those Champions League spots are the ones who are marketed abroad. Suddenly, you now all these people are going to be turning up wanting Walker's Crisp in like yeah. South <laughs> Korea. Yeah, or, it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. It's a knock on effect, and it's good. To be honest, yeah. I lost interest in football because it's become so predictable. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just, and nice. this is a freak season. Oh, this is, yeah. I've got my attention towards the end because you always get an early runner and everyone gets excited, but you know they get yeah. sucked up yeah, at Christmas. Yeah. Like um, last season, who is it? Uh, so so season before last, season yeah. before last. Oh! Oh, yeah. Just had a goal. Beautiful goal. All right, let's wrap it up now. We just had a goal. Everton uh, just Ross scored. Barkley. Ross Barkley on the the tw- 50, 50, fifth, yeah, 50th minute, fifty fifth minute, oh fifty five, oh five. Everton won. Great build up. <laughs> uh, so as we're talking, I mean, this is the FA Cup. Let's hope that this season gets you know stays as exciting. Uh, as it, as it all oh, that was a great weekend as well. Great weekend shot that. This whole the season carries on to be as exciting yeah, yeah. and as open. Yeah, how, how you tip that? And <laughs> let's take this as a metaphor, people. <laughs> you know, ODTV. TV. <laughs> Fuck the establishment, yeah. Fuck conventional wisdom, yeah. Wow. You can you can come out of Don't nowhere and make it to the top. Don't get right? in trouble. Go Leicester. Yeah. Go Tottenham. Go and the rest of them. Peace. Wow.